Well, 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 sing a song of May time and sing a song of spring. It's Saturday the 1st of May. This is episode 2117 of 301 Permanently Moved Online, a personal podcast 301 seconds in length, written, recorded and edited by me at the JMO. Did anyone else see that Netflix launched a Synthespian last week? Last year, I posted a long read about VTubers on my blog that's quickly closing in on 10,000 views. Link in the show notes. So this is the sort of news that interests me. Netflix anime's official VTuber and Netflix anime ambassador is called Inuko Mei Kuruno, a sheep human life form born in California. Rob Periada, head of anime, editorial and publishing at Netflix, wrote in the press release, My team and I asked ourselves how could we personally and directly be part of this anime fan community? Enter Inuko, our very own VTuber who makes her debut today. Living on Netflix anime YouTube, Inuko is our official Netflix anime ambassador. Inuko will connect with fans around the world by hosting her very own weekly show, The Inuko Show. And went on to say, in the industry news, What makes Inuko particularly exciting is that she is voiced and performed by one of my stunning colleagues at Netflix, who also happens to live and breathe anime just like me. Through Inuko, our teams are excited to join the exciting anime conversations already happening online and to share all the great anime Netflix has ahead. Please join me and welcome Inuko to the anime world. Netflix commissioned some serious talent to create Inuko. Dead or Alive 6 concept designer Fubiki is credited as her mother and 3D modeler and rigger Tumidango is credited as Enoko's father. So why is this important news? Well, this episode is an excuse to tie together some thoughts I've yet to publish on my blog. So take a deep breath or a bong rip and bear with me whilst I list some emerging trends. First trend, brands are acting more like people online and people are acting more like brands. For better or worse, it's a thing that's happening, sometimes called human era brand behavior. You know it when you see it. A recent example is the banter between UK supermarket chains on social media about M&S's lawsuit against Aldi over their Cuthbert the Caterpillar cake. Let me repeat that one more time, as it's a very 2021 kind of sentence. The banter between UK supermarket chains on social media about M&S's lawsuit against Aldi over their Cuthbert the Caterpillar cake. US fast food chain Wendy's is known as a pioneer of human era branding, and I'd also add the Museum of English Rural Life and Sutherlands of London as other leading examples. Second trend, headless brands. Headless brand is a term coined by my colleagues over at other.internet to describe community-driven brand dynamics of projects which have no centralized managerial body. Bitcoin is a headless brand, so is Wall Street Bets, for example. Headless brands mark the end of centralized bureaucratic value creation and point toward an era of decentralized, permissionless networks of value creation. My own thoughts on permissive IPs spawn from the headless brands concept. Third trend, virtual influencers and VTubers. Media folks are still fretting about the authenticity of virtual influencers like Brud's Little Michaela, but ultimately, the audience doesn't care. They want compelling content and narratives from the entities that they follow online. Doesn't matter if they're an independent YouTuber, a team of people puppeting an avatar in Unreal Engine, or a brand. I should add that real-time VTubers are huge. In November of 2020, 65% of the top 50 YouTubers by Super Chat revenue went to VTubers, with the top four VTubers making $475,000 alone. Fourth trend, DAOs and NFTs. I can hear your eyes rolling from here, but the reality is non-fungible token primitives are going to be really mundane real soon. They're going to be in everything, every virtual gun, every piece of virtual clothing, Every item in a virtual world is going to be an NFT. Limited hype beast drop culture is coming to a Call of Duty near you. More importantly is the development of DAOs. First mentioned on this podcast back in 2019 for those with good memories, decentralized autonomous organizations are a response to the question of online global coordination and patchwork governance. I personally feel that a DAO is more useful as a flag for people interested in the future of institutional mechanics to rally around than a type of software. So why is all this important? Well, back in episode 2006, I said that being in charge of a brand's Twitter account is like being a mech pilot climbing up a ladder into a cultural Gundam. Social media managers of brand Twitter accounts are puppeteers. And the person puppeteering Enuko is now in an interesting position. By launching Enoku, Netflix has materialized itself into a virtual person. They can, if they want, interact with humans on a live stream, speak with or interview anime characters directly, They can buy, wear, or sell virtual items, and more. Why hire an influencer to influence when you can create your own? Not only will brand avatars be competing for our attention, but so will co-piloted headless brand community avatars. Little Michaela is becoming a DAO, and VTubers will soon be making real-time telenovelas. Anuko could even make a guest appearance as Netflix. 
If you think Twitter accounts bantering online is insufferable and weird, just wait till you see what's coming next.